Hi everyone, my name is David. I'm going to present my new Quick Chat 2.0 lectures today. And I'm going to demonstrate the final version of our application uh, when we are going to finish together. You are going to have a ready chat application which is almost 80 to 85 percent close to WhatsApp. So let's uh, let's switch to to our iPhone here. And on the right side, I have my iPhone device set up. And on the left side, I have a simulator. So on the on iPhone, I'm going to launch the application. And this is our login view. And let's, uh, let's launch our application on the simulator as well. The, on the simulator, the user is already logged in. So let's go ahead and log in our application on the device. I'm going to use the Facebook login. And this will uh, get into our application. Uh, as you can see, we have uh, here our recents. And right now I have uh, chats with three people and one of them is a group chat actually. So we see the name of the person or the group we are chatting. Also, we see the last message from the person or from the group. We have the date of last uh, message and uh, in case if we have unread messages, we have a notification here that we have a new message. Then uh, at the bottom here, we have a group uh, we, where we can uh, create and see our groups. So as you can see, I have only one group right now, which has two members. If I click on a plus button here, I'm going to uh, get a new screen where I can add another group. So here I'm putting a group name and then I'm choosing the, pe the people which are actually from my friend list who are going to be in the group. And once I finish, I click done and there will be a new group. If we click on the group, uh, it will take us to the group uh, where we have the group name and uh, below will be all the members in this group. Also, we can have an option uh, button here where we can rename our group or we can uh, add uh, new members to our group. And finally, if we click on the group, it will take us to the, to the chat message. As you have noticed, there is a call button right on the, on the right top corner. And you are right, we are supporting the call, button, call function as well on our new chat. Then we have friends. Here I have the list of two friends. We are, we are able to also search. So if I'm looking for user two, I can just type and I can see the result of my search. Also, we can click on the plus button and we will get the list of all our users registered in our application where we can just tap on any user and this user will become our friend. As you can see now, the user tree is also our friend. So uh, the next stop is our settings application. Here on top, we have our uh, avatar cell where uh, by clicking, I'm going to uh, profile view. Uh, currently, this user doesn't have an avatar image. So this is a, a placeholder. And also we have the name of the user. Then we have privacy policy, terms of service. I haven't put it any text there because this is up to you what you want to put depending on your application. We also have a backgrounds in this version where we can change the background color depending on uh, what we like. So uh, we have three uh, bars here, RGB, red, green and blue. And the, uh, the square at the bottom shows the, the color of our background depending on the colors we choose. So in case if I say save here and uh, let's go and open one of our chats and as you can see the background is now kind of cyan. So let's go back and put it to white and in our chat now we can see that the background is white. So here we can see uh, a sample of each type of message we can send. We can see the timestamp here on top, which says yesterday 1054 uh, was the message. We have a text message. We have location message. If we tap on location message, this will open it separately. 
Then we have a picture message. Again, by tapping on picture message, we get it open separately. We can zoom in, zoom out, share it, or we can just scroll it up or we can scroll it down and it will disappear. Also, you can see um, uh, we have an audio message here by tapping it. This will open my audio message and this is going to play the current message that we sent. And down below we have our video message. So by tapping on our video message, this will uh, start playing our video. All right, this was it. And of course we support the text messages. And by tapping on our accessory button here, we have options of uh, taking a camera uh, where we have option of uh, uh, let's give access to our camera we will have an option to to use our photo or video and uh, this we can uh, let's take a picture and let's send this picture to our new user as you can see on our screen uh, straight away on our simulator here we have received a message which says that we have one new message and it's uh, showing us that it's a picture message so let's click on it and now we can see our picture that we took uh, we can reply back we can uh, display our avatars here um, if you have noticed in our settings we have a switch that uh, shows or doesn't show our avatar. So let's switch it off. Uh, let's go back to our chat messages. And as you can see on the left side where I have disabled our avatars, uh, we don't see the avatar uh, icons. But on the right side, uh, we can clearly see our avatars. Also, let's uh, test our uh, call function. So if I tap on the user here to call, it says that we are calling uh, David and I can hang up here and on my device I can hang up or I can answer the call so let's answer the call and uh, you can see that the timer goes here it shows the the duration of our call and if I hang up here on my device the call finishes and our uh, user that was calling is also notified and it re uh, removes the the call screen uh, of course, we can uh, delete our chats. Also, we can uh, we can delete our groups. When we try to delete our group, we are uh, we are shown a warning here that by deleting the group, it will delete all the messages of the group. So, in case if we want to delete it, it will delete the messages as well. And for example, on my device here, I have a group chat. Let's say if I want to delete my group chat from here that I am part of a chat. I have a notification here telling me if I would like to receive a notification for this group. So we have two options. We permanently delete and come out from the group or we just delete current recent and uh, once there are new chats, we will be notified. So I'm going to say, yes, I want to be notified. And this will keep our uh, user in the group chat. So every time some user in the group send a group message, we are going to get uh, information about this. Here we can uh, see other users uh, as well in our uh, profile view. Also, of course, we support notifications. So let's say I go out from my application and then another user sends me a message. So let's send a message. And here I'm getting my notification and as you can see uh, we have two on top. The reason we have two is because as you can see when we open our application uh, we have two unread messages. So let's read this one and then let's read the other one. Right now we have no new notifications. So if I send another message I'm going to have a notification of one. Uh, if you are an old uh, student of mine, you remember that uh, before we couldn't support the uh, uh, auto increment of our uh, icon for new notifications. But right now everything is working fine. We, we can increment our notifications depending how many notifications we have. 
So if we open the notification part here on top, we can go to our message. And uh, once we read our text, the new message icon from uh, our recents disappear. And if we can go back, we will see that uh, the number on our icon is disappeared as well. So this is uh, this is the ready application. Uh, if you if you are interested in it, if you want to uh, start learning this chat application, take a second, subscribe to my class, and uh, I promise you we are going to have a great time together. It's going to be fun developing this chat application, and uh, I hope you are going to really get new information out of it, and you are going to enjoy it. So if you are ready, subscribe and we can start our chat application together.